black woman had a dark skin black man. That shame them. They want them old light skinned Negro. Right. But Christ was old right. dark skinned chocolate black man. Right. Hey sis, why you gonna leave up to her again? That 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 image is too strong for you. Ah, it's too strong for the black woman. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus I didn't grow up my whole life in church, but I did grow up coming up in the church kind of. Hey, and you like, know, majority of black people grew up coming in church. Cause you know what? It's our brothers, our grandmothers. Yeah. Watch this. Give me Romans 10 and all too. I'm gonna show you something about our people. Don't you get Romans 10 until we be all. Let me do the right in 76. Hey, it's something about our people that makes us different from all other people. Look, let's think about it. All the things that we went through in slavery. And everything you think hey, that would just destroy people. Yeah. But we still had what? We still had the love of God. Right? Watch it. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art yeah. holy people unto the Lord thy God. See, we're holy people to God. Holy means he separated us from all other people. You understand? He separated us from all other people. Just think about that. That's your son. Mm -hmm. You're going to treat your son different than all other children. Hey. You understand? So God separated us from all other people. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He chose you to be special. Guess what? You want your son to be special. Right. So God gave us laws. You don't understand? Just like you want to give your son rules? Yeah. What's, your, what's your rules going to be for? Behave yourself like a young man should. You want him to behave yourself like a young man should? Or do you want him to behave like everybody else? Right. Not like everybody else. You want him to be above everybody else. Yeah. You want him to stand out. Yes. God gave us laws for us to stand out. Right. Because those laws is his wisdom, his knowledge. He right. gave you the knowledge and wisdom to stand out above all the people upon the face of the earth. Right. You understand? Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You understand that? That's being special. That's how much yeah, God thinks about you. He said he wants you to be above everyone upon the face of the earth. Hey. Give me all. Now give me Romans 10 and 2. Now, but guess what? We didn't really want to accept that knowledge. Think about it. He gave you the law of pants. And that smile came on your face like, hey, <laughs> punish. Punish. Watch this. Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. Bring it out. For, yeah. for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. See, he said, our people got the zeal of God. Hey, you say, you know what? The prophets out here teaching. I'm going out here where the prophets at. You understand? You got that zeal of God. Watch. But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. Because you don't understand that God has rules. He has to call. He have laws and commandments. There's punishment for those laws and commandments. Because guess what? If the mother's wicked, what is your child going to be? Yeah. Right. So that's you got to set the example for your children. So that's saying that God would appear this way. He was like, 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 you know how the sexual, sexual, like how you talk about sexual. Right. That's saying, saying that, you know, God wouldn't be mad at us because he created us this way. So if he had his feelings, he wouldn't be mad. He didn't create you to be wicked. He right. created you to be righteous and holy, remember? Right. Because right. our holy nation. So he gave you laws and commandments so you can be holy. If you don't give your children rules, he's going to be that wild little nigga out here selling dope, killing people, and yeah, hey, just like they uh, molested that uh, elderly lady. Hey, that could be your son. If you don't sit there and teach him right, yeah. right. watch this, read. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, uh -huh. but not according to knowledge. Read. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness. That's what our people do. They go about to establish their own righteousness. Saying, you know what? I can wear these pants. It's going to be all right. God ain't going to put me to death. But God is the man of his word. He say, I'm going to punish me. I'm going to put you to death. Guess what he's going to do? He's going to put us to death. Because hey, hey. you know the perfect example of our people not listening to God? This right here. 
You see these yokes of iron? Yeah. You see these yokes of iron right here? Yeah. He told our people he was going to do this to our people. He told us that he, we were going to be sold into slavery. He told us all these things. Yeah, you see that right here? He said, I'm going to do all this to you if you don't keep my laws and commandments. And you know what our people said? Ah, uh, it ain't going to happen. I don't know. They did just like you. They doubted it. Yeah. Give, me, give me that Deuteronomy 20. I'm going to show you. Say what? I'm going to show you to you. Our people was told this was going to happen. And guess what? They didn't listen. Yeah. So guess what? Now you here as a single mother. Raising your son. Are uh, you single? Uh, are you married? Not yet. You single. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Bring but it, it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, I'm going to send curses on you. Watch one of the curses he said he's going to put on our people. Go to Romans uh, 2 and 68. Watch this curse. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You know what the word Egypt means? Yes. I'm going to show you. The Bible defines itself. It's going to show you what the word Egypt means. Because you know the story of Moses, right? Not really. You know, Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. We had been in slavery for 400 years. So here's the definition of the word Egypt. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means what? Bondage. What's another word for bondage? In other words, for bondage is slavery. You ain't no fuck, baby. She, she, and she knows this, but she knows right. So another word for bondage is what? Slavery, right? Right. So watch this. So Mo now the children of Israel have been delivered out of slavery, and Moses is telling them, if you don't keep these laws and commandments that God has given to you, now watch this. Pay attention to what he's saying. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. How did we get here, sis? Right. Guess what? Our people didn't they didn't believe. Watch this. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. That we wouldn't see our homeland Israel again. Read. And there, right here in America, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold to who? Your enemies. So what is God calling the white man? Right. For bondmen. What is a bondman? Slave men. He said you're gonna be sold as slave men and bond women. And slave women. Watch it. And no man shall buy you. Buy is an old Quaker word meaning no one's gonna be able to save you out of that slavery. Did that not happen to us? Watch this. Give me verse 15. Verse 15. 16. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. He said, Cursed shall thou be in the city. No matter where the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are. We are cursed in the city. Right. right now, it's drugs in our neighborhood. Yeah. It's violence in our neighborhood. Yeah. It's killing in our neighborhoods. Yeah. It's the police oppressing us in our neighborhoods. Is that a curse? Yeah. That's a curse. Watch this. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. He said, cursed shalt thou be in the field. When we cursed in the fields, you know what was a constant reminder that you was cursed in the fields? No. Those cotton plantations I see where we coming to in town. How does cotton feel? That's happened to us. Matter of fact, uh, I might see some images of us picking cotton. We got images of down here picking cotton in the fields. Cursed in those cotton fields, cursed in those tobacco fields, those sugar plantation fields. Hey. That's us. Hey. Did that not happen to us since? God told our people this was going to happen. Hey. Our people did not accept the word of God. Hey. They did not want to believe the word of God. Let's bring it up to date. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Was thy sons and daughters given to another people? Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Hey, when they take our children, is there anything they can have, uh, that you can do about it? Is the Bible real? Yeah. It's real, ain't it? So when you sit there and say, I'm going to punish you for wearing pants, do you think that's going to happen? Uh, you think I'm right? It's going to happen. Right. Give me verse 48. Verse 48. 
Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So he said, you're going to serve your enemies. So how do you think we're serving our enemies, sis? Yeah. I mean, how are we serving them right now? He said, you're going to serve your enemies. Because our people think they're free. But God said, you're going to serve your enemies. Question. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So now you got to go to them for what? Food. They control all the food supply, right? Yeah. And in thirst. They control our water, right? Yeah. And in nakedness. The very clothes that you get on your back, you got to go to the enemy's for. Right. Right. And in want of all things. You want some peppers for your son, who do you got to go to? Yeah. If you want milk for your son, who you got to go to? Yeah. Hey, if you want to feed your family, who you got to go to? Enemy. Watch this. And he yeah. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. You see this right here, sis? These are images of yokes of iron around our neck. Did that not happen to our people? It happened. It happened. Watch it. Until what? Until he have destroyed thee. Now when I ask our people, who are you according to the Bible? You know what I get? I'm a child of God. What's your child name, sis? Casey. Casey got a name. Guess what? The children of God got a name. That's they right. They are called Israelites. That's, That's right. right. The nation of Israel is the children of God. Right. Can you get into the kingdom not knowing you're an Israelite? Can you get into the kingdom, sis, not knowing you're an Israelite? Hey, guess what? Our people destroyed that they don't know the color of Christ, their king. Because right now, our people worship who? Right here. They worship him, right? That's in all our homes. That's in all our homes. We worship a white man as Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. The black man think a white man is coming to save him. Hey. What do the white man do for you right now? Hey. Keep you in slavery? Hey. Keep you in bondage? Hey. Keep you oppressed? Hey. Keep you dumb in knowledge? Hey. The white man ain't gonna save us. Hey, right. the white man on earth ever going to save us. Right. So let's find out what the true Messiah looks like. Give me Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it on. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Read. Who bear record of the word of God. So guess what? The image of Jesus Christ it's in the Bible. Hey. Our people got to stop with the foolishness that nobody knows what Christ is. Hey. It's recorded. It's revealed. Hey. Read. Verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. What did God say? Blessed is he that read it. He said, blessed is he that read it. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Are you hearing the words of this prophecy and what Christ looks like? So he's telling you blessed today. Because you're going to find out what Christ looks like. Yeah. So you can start worshiping the true Messiah. Right. This is the beginning of you coming back home. Right. The beginning of you coming back to serve God. Right. Right. Give me verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. It said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white in color and wool in texture. That's right. Does this have any of that? No. Why did they lie? Why do they lie, sis? Because they want you to worship a false god. Hey. If you worship a false god, will the real one listen to you? He ain't gonna have nothing to do with you. You serve somebody else. Hey. He said, you serve the white man. Go ahead and let the white man save you. Hey. Hey. So guess what? Had the white man saved us, we still in slavery. We still getting shot down in the streets. That image worked for the white man. It don't work for you. Hey. It don't work for you. He said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white and colored and the wool and texture. Right. Who has that, sis? Yeah. Who got woolly hair on this earth? That one. Look at that little man here right there. That's <laughs> woolly <laughs> texture, sis. Right. That's right. He got the hair of his father. He got the hair of his king. Right. So do you. But guess what? We're just ashamed of it. We're just ashamed. Yeah. But guess who got that? Bring guess who got that nappy woolly hair? Christ the King, the greatest man ever walked this earth. Should yes, you be proud of that? Shouldn't you embrace that? But we're ashamed. We done traded in for long stringy hair, right. fake hair. Right. We dye hair, blonde, right. blue, purple, green. Right. We don't want the beautiful texture that the Most High gave us. Right. We don't want that beautiful black, the 
the Most High gave us. Because you know why? We made that white man our God, and we envy everything that they do. Right, right. We follow all their holidays. We dress like them. We act like them. Right. Wait, we don't make them our God and don't even realize. Right. right. Finish that up. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet and his what? And his feet. His feet gonna be the same color as the rest of his body, like unto fine brass. Like what? Like unto fine brass. He said his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass, sis? Brass? I ain't say grass. Oh, oh. Brass. Ew, you ain't seen no green men walking around. <laughs> so he said his feet was like unto fine brass. Let's see how fine this brass was. As if they burned in a furnace. You burn anything, what color is it, sis? You burn anything. It's black. Christ was a very dark-skinned black man. Hey. You know, black woman had a dark-skinned black man. They're ashamed of it. They want them old light-skinned Negro. Hey. But Christ was a hey. dark-skinned, chocolate black man. Hey. Give me John 8, 32. Hey, sis, why you gonna leave it up to her again? You can't do that. That, that, that image is too strong for you. Ah, it's too strong for the black woman. Watch this. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He said, you're going to learn the truth, and the truth going to set you free. Hey. That's what I want. Hey, that's what your sister just did. She said, damn with that truth, I'm gone. <laughs> she didn't want that true image of Christ. She didn't want to know that it was a black man, because you know what came with that false image? A false doctrine. Hey. You understand? Hey. But Christ said, you're going to know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Because what did the churches teach you? Did they teach you that Christ was black? Do they teach you God's laws? Not, not like that. Watch this. <laughs> did they tell you that wearing pants and get you put to death? No. So what law did they teach you? Stop. Tell me one law they taught you. Uh, um, the sins, like... Okay, they taught you, you said they taught you sins or what? Um, they say so many different things. They be all over the place. Watch um, this. I'm going to ask you a simple question. Yeah. They just say they taught you sin. So yeah. said, what is sin? I said, what is sin? Oh, sin is to go against orders. Like that, right? Go against orders? What orders? Like, um, don't disobey rules. Orders. Like, disobey rules is a bad thing to do something for sin. Right? So, white men got orders. Right. So, what orders are you talking about? Like, he tell you, he tell you not to go left and you go right. So, you say your pastor taught you? Yeah. Your pastor taught you? Yeah. But he didn't teach you about Christ will kill you when you're ready. But don't, don't you want to live? Let's find out what sin is. First John chapter three and verse four. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. He said, whoever commits sin breaks God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's laws. The breaking of God's laws. So let me give you a law and tell me if your pastor is teaching this law. Give me uh, Exodus twenty-four. No. Let's see if the pastor is keeping this law. Because if the pastor didn't teach you the law, I mean, think about the plan. What's the way to the sin? The payment for committing sin. Payment for sin? Yeah. Right. The wages of sin is death. So shouldn't he have been teaching you the law so you don't die? Yeah, so you don't die. Right? Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. He said, remember the Sabbath day. Why do you think God said remember the Sabbath day? I don't know. If, you, if, you, if I tell you to remember something, that means you were thrown to the kids. Yeah. So God is telling our people to remember the Sabbath day. First, watch this. To keep it holy. To do what? Keep it holy. He said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What day is the Sabbath day? Last day of the week. What is the Sunday? last day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. You got a phone? Yeah, it's day. Huh? It's day. It's day. Who got a phone? What's this? Somebody got a phone? Watch this. He's going to pull up a calendar and you tell me what day is the last day. What's the last day? Saturday. Saturday. The 11th. So Saturday is the seventh day of the week. Uh -huh. Did your pastor forget? Did your pastor forget? I think he forgot. Was he teaching you from the Bible? No, sounds like 
Ah, watch this. Who benefits off of our sin? Okay. You know, oh, get your money. Yeah. Guess who else benefit off our sin? The people that's ruling over us. That's right. Hurt. They benefit because when you're in sin, God don't fight your battle. Hurt. God don't listen to you. Hurt. You understand? He don't even hear your prayers. Right. Watch it. Give me that. Give me that jump. I'm going to show you, God don't hear our prayers when we're in sin. You think we wasn't praying when we was out there in them cotton fields? Mm -hmm. yeah. Negroes were singing and praying. You know what they're doing in church? Singing and praying. Right. But they ain't keeping the Sabbath. Right. they rebellious. Because right. God said to remember it and keep it holy. Read. John chapter 9 verse 31. Bring it out. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Whoa, did you hear that? God read that again. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So God don't hear sinners. Do they end up breaking the laws on the Sabbath, wearing pants? God ain't hearing your prayers, now is it? No. Nah, watch this. But if any man be a worshiper of God, and doeth his will. And doeth his what? And doeth his will. Him, he heareth. He said, if you do the will of God, he will hear your prayers. Give me Psalms 48. Let's find out what the will of God is. Do you know the will of God, sis? The will of God? Yes. No. All right. Watch this. We're going to make it simple. Hey, that's, the Bible's very simple. But guess what? Our people simply break. Right. That's simple as that. They simply do not love God enough to follow him. Right. Listen, our people don't love God enough to stop and hear his word. Right. You understand? And look, black people ain't never seen black people out teaching the Bible. No. And guess what? They ride on by because they got other things to do. Watch it, read. Psalm chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. What's in his heart? Thy law is within my heart. The rules of God. Whatever God say do, guess what? That's what you should do. That's the will of God for you to keep his commandments. Do you love God? Watch it. Let me show you how you love God love. This is what our churches, our pastors don't teach. Because you know why? They walking hand in hand with you. They walking hand in hand. They get rich off of your ignorance. Hey. They get rich off our people's ignorance. And hey. that's why our people are in the bottom of society right now. Hey. Because the pastors are walking hand in hand with the devil. Hey. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Hey. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. So to love God, you have to do what? Keep his commandments. Right. So how do you think God felt when he seen you say, man, I'm wearing these pants? How do you think he felt about his daughter? <laughs> he said, I'm going to put her to death. <laughs> but he gave right. you, you know, but you know how much he loved you? He gave you a chance to repent. Right. That's right. He gave you a chance to turn away from your sin. Right. Because he loved you. Remember, he said, for thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord that God has chosen thee. Think about it. He chose you, sis. Right now, he made you come right here and to hear the prophets today. So you can teach your son. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.